Hello everybody and welcome to another shader graph tutorial. It's been a long time, I know, but here I am, I'm back. And uh, today we're gonna look at this beautiful procedural uh, um, pattern that uh, you can change the duplicates, you can change the tiling, uh, you can change the width as well as the height you can also change how much does this line gets repeated of course not all values are valid or uh, like some of them might give you uh, weird results uh, especially this one it has to be an integer which is which gives you these duplicates uh, if you scroll down a little bit Give it more height, maybe, uh, or actually do something like this. Oops, that's just how much the width is for the height, and uh, this be it point three, something like that. Um, but yeah, you can do this cool stuff with it. So let's just jump into the code. All right, so we are going to start with the tiling and offset node, uh, which uh, we have our tiling connected to the X and the stretch multiplied by that value connected to the y. Uh, I guess this is useless. Uh, you can connect this parameter directly. Um, so that's our tile. And then we want to create a repetition, right? And so whenever you um, do a lot of tiling and then you do a, refract a fraction on it, then, the, uh, then for example, if your tiling is like 10, then this is going to be 0, and that edge is going to be 10, 10, 10. Fractions gonna make it 0 to 1, 0 to 1, 0 to 1, 0. Each one of these pieces is 0 to 1. Um, and then we want some randomization uh, so that we can do a random rotation so that each part is either 45 degrees this way or 45 degrees uh, the other way. Right? To do that, you can get the, the floor of this and it's gonna be uh, you know, each each piece is like 0, 0, uh, 1, 0, 2, 0, and so on. Now, if you connect that to the seed of a random range, you will have a random value for each um, piece, right? Or for each tile. And then our minimum is 0, our maximum is 1. And then we connect it to a step, which is basically everything below 0.5 is going to be 0. Everything above 0.5 is going to be 1. And then we remap uh, 0 to 1 to minus 1 to 1. So these dark areas are now minus 1 and the white areas are 1. So that we can just multiply it by 45, which is going to give us either minus 45 or uh, positive 45. This is going to go directly to a to the rotation uh, of the rotate node. The center is obviously 0.5, which is the center. right? So now we have randomized rotations. After that, um, after that, we want to do the duplication of the pattern, and we can do that uh, by a tiling and offset node. Uh, it's just that there is this special value that I'm using, uh, to, so that um, like one or two, three, four, uh, multiplied by this value, which is one point four one two five, just paste it as is. Right? Duplicate uh, multiplied by the, the duplication parameter. Uh, and then we can use that as our tiling for the x, right? And uh, the y, you can just use the, uh, the parameter directly. Now, the same value, we are going to do a minus 1 and divide by 2 and connect it to the offset. This will um, make the, um, the tiling, like, so usually when you, when you use a tiling on... Uh, the texture, for example, it goes like this. 
so the the like the zero zero is still on this edge, and so it will kind of have an offset to the left. Uh, if you do this, one minus the same value of of tiling and divide it by two, and connect it to offset, then the center, the zero point five, is gonna stay in the center, and so zero zero is gonna go like this when you increase the tiling, right? So that the center stays in the middle, right, in the center. Uh, and then after that, uh, we can we will have to get the fraction again because we are changing the tiling uh, so that uh, it repeats again and again. And you can just connect that to the UV of a rectangle node. Uh, you can also use the round rectangle node. You can try with uh, nicest if you have this. And by the way, this is 2021. Um, and just connect the width and the height uh, to this node, and that's that's it. That's basically it. Um, so thank you so much for watching. Consider hitting the like and uh, checking my assets link in the description. And have a nice one.